for this video, we will talk about how to subtract fractions. So, there are two lessons here. How to subtract similar fractions and how to subtract dissimilar fractions. We will first talk about how to subtract similar fractions. So, just like adding similar fractions, subtracting similar fractions also have the rule that you need to subtract the numerators only and then you're going to copy the denominator. So let's say for example, we have here 5 over 8 minus 2 over 8. So what will be the difference of this fraction? Let's write here our solution. I'm going to rewrite the given here. Applying the rule that you just need to subtract the numerator, so 5 minus 2, the answer is 3. And you will be just copying the denominator, so we need to put 8 here. And observing this difference, 3 over 8 is in its simplest form. So wala na siyang GCF, wala na common factor, si 3 and si 8. Therefore, the difference of 5 over 8 and 2 over 8 is 3 over 8. How about another example? Let's say we have example number 2. Let's say we have mixed numbers. Eleven and seven over ten minus three and four over ten. Let's say we have that mixed numbers. So just like adding similar fractions that are mixed numbers, you just need to subtract first the whole numbers and then subtract the numerators and then copy the denominators. So let's write our solution here. I'm going to rewrite the given. So first, we need to subtract the whole numbers, which is 11 and 3. So 11 minus 3, the answer is 8. And then we will be subtracting the numerators. 7 minus 4 is 3. And then copy the denominator, 10. So there will be no common factor, yung 3 and 10. Therefore, we can say that the difference of example number 2 is 8 and 3 over 10. Nakasimplified na siya kasi wala nang greatest common factor si 3 and si 10. So this will be your final answer. How about another example? Let's say we have example number 3. Let's say we have 9 and 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5. As you can see, the given is a mixed number and a proper fraction. So how are we going to solve for the difference of this example? I'm going to write first the given. So 9 and 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5. As you can see here, walang katabing whole number si 1 over 5, diba? So we are just going to copy 9. So parang i-drop lang natin yung 9 sa answer natin. So 9 and then we will be sub subtracting 
the numerators. 3 minus 1, the answer is 2. And then we will just be copying the denominators. So, obser observing 2 over 5, wala na silang common factor, di ba? Si 2 and si 5. So, therefore, we can say that the difference of this given is 9 and 2 over 5. Another example, let's say we have example number 4 here. Let's say we have 5 over 9 minus 2 over 9. What will be the difference of 5 over 9 and 2 over 9? So let's put our solution here. I'm going to rewrite the given. 5 over 9 minus 2 over 9. So, they are similar fractions, right? So, we will just be subtracting the numerators. So, 5 minus 2 is 3. And then, we will just be copying the denominator. So, the answer is 3 over 9. But then, as we can see, 3 and 9, they have common factor pa, diba? The GCF. The GCF of 3 and 9 is 3. So, we can divide 3 and 9 by 3, their GCF. So, write natin, 3 is their GCF or their greatest common factor. So, 3 divided by 3, the answer is 1. 9 divided by 3, the answer is 3. So, now, 1 third is in its simplest form. Therefore, we can say that the difference of 5 over 9 and 2 over 9 is simply one third. Okay. And then last example, let's say we have mixed numbers. Okay. So let's write example number five here. Let's say we have nine. And 7 over 20 minus 3 and 2 over 20. What will be the difference of this given? So let's write our solution here. And I'm going to rewrite the given. 9 and 7 over 20 minus 3 and 2 over 20. So just like what we did earlier, um, we will we will be subtracting first the whole numbers, 9 and 3. So subtract muna natin si 9 and 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. Okay? And then next, we will just be subtracting the numerator. 7 minus 2 is 5. And then we will just be copying the denominator. That is 20. As you can see here, 5 over 20, we can simplify this, diba? They have a common factor pa. What is the common factor of 5 and 20 kaya? Yes, the common factor of 5 and 20 is 5. That is their GCF. GCF of 5 and 20 is 5. So we need to divide both by 5. 5 divided by 5, the answer is um, 1. And then 20 divided by 5, the answer is 4. And we need to copy the whole number here. So as you can see, the difference is already in its simplest form. So therefore, we can say that the difference of example number 5 is 6 and 1 fourth or 1 over 4. Next, I am going to discuss how to subtract dissimilar fractions. So, subtracting dissimilar fractions are just like adding dissimilar fractions. We just need to find the LCM or LCD to make the dissimilar fraction similar fractions. Let's say we have example number 1. So 
we need to find the difference of 2 over 3 and 1 over 9. So as you can see, the given are the similar fractions because they have different denominators. In order for you to subtract the similar fractions, let's say you're going to add or subtract the similar fractions, just like what I said last time in adding fractions, you need to rewrite this given in vertical form for you to be able to solve this easily. So I'm going to rewrite the given in vertical form. And then... I am going to find, or we are going to find the LCM or LCD of 9 and 3. So last lesson, I told you that in order for you to find the LCM or LCD, you're just going to multiply the denominators. But then, sometimes, it will give you big numbers. So, medyo mahihirapan tayo pag ganon. If... Gusto nyo naman malaman kung paano makuha yung LCM or LCD, use listing method just, just like what we did last time. So LCM, let's list all the multiples of 3 and 9. So it is just like skip counting. 3, 6, 9, and then 12, 9, 18, 20, 7, Yes. And then, find the least common multiple. So, the least common multiple is 9. So, napansin nyo, kapag minultiply nyo yung 3 and 9, it will give you 27, which is a big number. Pero, pag you know how to get the LCM or LCD, mas maliit na number ibibigay niya sa inyo kasi you're, you're finding for the least common multiple. Yung pinakamaliit na common multiple nila yung hinahanap mo. So, yun. So, the common, the least common multiple of 3 and 9 is 9. Then, we will be making new fractions here. Uh, let's, let's erase this part. Then, how are we going to find for the numerator? Just like what we did last time in adding the similar fraction, we will be dividing the LCM by the original denominator. So, 9 divided by 3. And then, we multiply natin yung quotient sa original numerator. So, 9 divided by 3, that is 3, times 2, that is 6. And then, 9 divided by 9, that is 1, times 1 is 1. So, this will be your new set of fraction and pwede na natin siyang isulat in horizontal form kasi they are or they became this they became similar fractions na. So, mas madali na siyang solve it. 6 over 9 minus 1 over 9. So, 6 minus 1, that is 5. And then, copy the denominator. Observing 5 over 9, may GCF pa ba si 5 and 9? I believe wala. Therefore, the difference of 2 over 3 and 1 over 9 is 5 over 9. This is example number 1. Okay. Next, example number 2. Let's say we have mixed numbers, okay? Let's say we have 15 and 5 over 6 minus 5 and 5 over 12. So I'm going to rewrite the given in vertical form. 15 and 5 over 6 minus 5 and 5 over 12. 
So, finding the LCM or LCD of 6 and 12, kapag minultiply natin, it will, it will give you 72, di ba? Pero, kung tutuusin, the least common multiple of 6 and 12, if you're going to use the listing method, is 12. Okay, 12 lang, hindi 72. Masyado nang malaki yung 72. So, copy the whole numbers. 5, and then... Gawin lang natin yung ginawa natin kanina. 12 divided by 6, that is 2 times 5. Okay, 2 times 5 is 10. Another here, 12 divided by 12, the answer is 1 times 5, the answer is 5. Okay. So, delete natin yung operational symbols para hindi tayo malito. <laughs> okay, now we have the new set of fractions or similar fractions na sila ngayon, di ba? So I can rewrite this using the horizontal form 15 and 10 over 12 minus no. Minus 5 and 5 over 12. We can subtract this easily now. So 15 minus 5, the answer is 10. And then 10 minus 5, the answer is 5. And then copy the denominator. Observing 5 over 12, meron pa kaya silang greatest common factor? I believe wala na, no? Wala na silang greatest common factor. Therefore, the difference of example number 2 is 10 and 5 over 12. That is your difference for example number 2. Another example, let's say we have example number 3 here. We will be getting the difference of 7 and 3 over 5 minus 3 and 1 fourth. I am going to rewrite the given in vertical form for us to solve this easily. So 7 and 3 over 5 minus 3 and 1 fourth. So let's find the LCM or LCD of 5 and 4. In this example, we can just multiply them. That is their LCM or LCD. So copy the whole numbers and then the LCM or LCD is 20. Then 20 divided by 5, the answer is 4, times 3, the answer is 12. 20 divided by 4, the answer is 5, times 1, the answer is 5. Now let's erase the operations here, para hindi tayo malito. Oh no. I'm going to rewrite this part. Okay. Now we have the new set of fraction. They become or they became similar fractions na, di ba? So, mas madali na natin siyang masosolve. I am going to rewrite this using horizontal form. So, 7 and 12 over 20 minus 3 and 5 over 20. Now, we can solve easily, no? 7 minus 3, that is 4. 12 minus 5, that is 7. Over, copy the denominator, 20. 
So, observing 7 over 20, mayroon pa ba common factor si 7 and 20? I believe wala na, no? So, the difference of example number 3 is 4 and 7 over 20.